It is July 2nd, 2018. Educator Chipotle Challenge coming to you live from Orlando, Florida. I got my new Martin, friend. Martin Sidnor, recent graduate of Maynard Evans High School. I was actually born here in Orlando, but I've been raised in Albany, New York. Martin's first time at Chipotle, and what what do you think of it so far? It's extraordinary. <laughs> Martin and I met at Valvoline Oil Change. Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Yep, had to yeah. get Lily's oil changed on the uh, road trip. And around. I serviced it. And he serviced it, and he serviced it well. I did. And I told you about the Educator Chipotle Challenge and asked you if you had any educators in your career that have, have made an impact and recently I've had two teachers this year that I feel like made a positive impact on my life. One was my volleyball coach. His name is Andrew Brown and he was also my English teacher. Like he could tell that I wasn't trying to do my work all the time. <laughs> he, could, <laughs> he could basically see that, basically see that like I was just slacking off in class because I knew I could get it done. It's just, he basically gave me that nudge in the butt to like push me forward because we had a senior project and he had to, like, I didn't understand. Like I was let, he let me know that this was a big part of my grade, but I really didn't understand that until we got further along towards the deadline. And like, as I'm going, like the whole time, he's still helping us out until the last day to turn it in. You know, all the other, all of the other teachers, they they had their deadlines much earlier than that, mm -hmm. but he pushed it, but he pushed it back because he seen that we were still working on them. I was a student <laughs> that that wasn't working on it until like <laughs> I literally did my ten pages, my ten page essay. I did that in like a day and a half. Yeah. <laughs> but you got it done, I and did. you got it done partially because because of his yeah his, his, his motivation. His, well, That's the thing to take from this: get your work done when it's. When you're given the time, get it done. The other, you said there was another educator there? Miss Wright. Miss Edith Wright. Edith Marlowe Wright. Yeah. That was my chorus teacher. Uh, my first chorus teacher. Like, I've, I've, I've sung all my life, but I've never really, you know, gotten into the chorus scene. And it turns out I felt so comfortable just being in the singing environment. The first day I was singing, like I, I could see like throughout the course of the, of my chorus experience, she started to um, basically come to me and let me know about events and choral events that were, that were happening and she would invite me to them and stuff, like try and get me out there because she knew that I liked to sing. I took those opportunities. I ended up going to state. It was a uh, audition for the state chorus, and I made it. And I, I have this plaque hanging up in my room that shows that. And I also, like, even though it was my first year in chorus, I ended up getting these two medals for it. And that that was that made me feel good. Like, like Miss Wright, she she really got involved with her students. Like at the graduating class, like she cried, she cried. She had me, like I only met her this year, but like the connection is that strong. Mm. Like I love Miss Wright, honestly. It's one of my favorite teachers. <laughs> That's awesome. Shout out to Mr. Bostic Jones. Honestly, I would say he's the coolest teacher I've ever had. Like he, like the way he can relate to the students, it's just amazing. Like I see why he got Teacher of the Year, and we were rooting for him. Uh huh. I bet <laughs> but you yeah, were. Yeah, he's a great teacher.
I, like, honestly, I didn't want to, when I got into his class, it, his class was an advanced class, it was ace. I didn't want to be in there. Like, a lo like, I don't like to push myself. I don't like to do work. I know I can do it, but I don't like to. And being in there, I realized I had to do the work. He, he wasn't playing around. Even though he would joke with the students, work work was serious, like, work was serious. We had at least two essays a week, at least. And me, like, as you've heard, I'm <laughs> work, like, I procrastinate. The way he, like, his teaching style was much different than I've ever seen. Like he, he tries to, he tries to change it up so that the students could understand. Like, cause he taught history, mm. and you know how history you have to learn like a lot of dates and stuff. Yeah. Like he tried to make it to where it would be easier to remember these dates and like make connections between like the. Uh, like the anaconda plan and stuff like that. Like I still remember things because of the way he taught it. I remember other classes that I've had from social studies where I don't, where I didn't remember a thing. Another thing that makes him great is that he 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 tries to give back to the students, and I see that. Like he he started a program. I can't think of the name at this moment, but. He basically takes inner city kids and he tries to show them the world that they live in instead of just the world that they see. He takes them out of the country and he takes them to different parts of the world so that they can experience different cultures. And he and while they're doing that, they also help they also help those communities. Like he's one of my inspirations to want to travel. I remember one day Mr. Bostic Jones popped up at my house. <laughs> uh, they were walking around the community, him and a couple other teachers, trying to get, you know, people to come to this event that the school was hosting. Hmm. You know, and for them to actually be foot soldiers and, you know, go around getting all these people and <laughs> So Mr. Bostic Jones came did a did a home visit and Yeah. And it really showed you like how engaged he is with his and, students. And, and, and that was before I even got into his class. Oh. Like he was like, he, like, and I let him know like, yeah, I'm gonna be in your class next year. And he was like, yeah, he's looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it too. Like, it's crazy because any student of his that you, that you meet, they'll tell you the same thing. Like, he's such a great person, any student. Even if they didn't like him, it, it, the only the only way they wouldn't like him was because of the work. That's that's it. <laughs> I didn't like the work. Cause he got on y'all. Yeah. He he, he, he held did. you accountable and 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 had high standards for you. He yeah, honestly like. did. That's awesome. And then mm -hmm. you got you got the stuff done. Yeah, I did. So three educators that really made a positive impact in your life, and and in a short period of time, cause all. Of, are all three of these teachers from here? These, Miss Wright and Mr. Brown are from Orlando, mm -hmm. and Mr. Bosley Jones is from Jacksonville. Okay. Like those, those are the three that popped into my head when you asked me if I had teachers that impacted my life. Grandma Impact. Pearl, she's been teaching a very long time and where we live now, she actually has a lot of students that she taught within the area. And they're all, you know, grown and mature in their life. But they still see her and, you know, they remember her. Like, like a lot of them, they, like they still talk about, like, like if they see her, they'll talk about the days that they used to be in their class. Like, like I'll be out with her and she'll see one of her students. She'll be like, oh. You know, because she has a soft voice. You heard it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has that Super soft sweet. voice. And it's, 
she'll meet with her students and be talking for a good 30 minutes. And I'm guessing that, you know, since she has those type of encounters, that she must have been, you know, a really great teacher who made impacts on people's lives, like the teachers that I've had. And I think that's great. I think that's great that she has those people around her. Like she lives in a city where there's people all over that, that she's impacted. Educators have such an important role in young people's lives, and that's why that's why I'm doing this project to highlight those stories of the impact that educators have made on on their students that that lasts a lifetime. We're gonna conclude with Martin singing us the alma mater song, Evans High School. Here we go. Dear Alma Mater, we shall lift our voices, singing thy praises ever through the years. We'll not forget thee when afar we Sharing fond memories of Evans High. Shout out to Evans High. Ms. And my chorus teacher for teaching me that. Yeah, Miss <laughs> Wright and Mr. Brown and Mr. Bostic Jones. You know who you are. You know who you are <laughs> for leaving a, a positive impact on my new friend here, Martin. Coming to you live from Orlando, Florida, Chipotle. Martin and Kayla, over and out. Much love. Peace.